Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like, good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, <laughs> hmm. Uh, I got a broken nose. It's not bad or anything, but yeah. How'd you do that? Your illustrious boxing career? <laughs> I wish. No, I, a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped and ate a parking meter. Eesh. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is that okay? Uh... Don't... <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you.
Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy. Javier. Oh, he's incredible. Caring. Sexy as hell. Um, he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason... I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up.
All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? take all of the supply drop food, did you? No. I mean, I don't... Uh, I'm hungry. So, you did. I gotta go. Got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. Fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, maybe you shouldn't have taken so much of it then. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, sure. No problem. Remember me fondly. You are such a drama queen. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the... Uh, D? I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh... There's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait. Hold on, something's out here. Henry, I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. 